Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of Yahweh in the land. All right, man, giving our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash, double honors to all the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Yes, the house of David is rising, coming back at you with another lesson. This is um, from Hosea. We won't read and uh, look into certain words, man. Abu Azata edify the church, talking about God's controversy, God's controversy with Israel. And this is a warning, you know, a trumpet blowing, a warning. Controversies are uh, down the pipe. We won't get into some of these words, Abu Azar. And um, how, did, how did this video come to mind? What well, as I was going in a little bit yesterday. Here's, a, here's an old phrase here. On his last legs. It's an old, old phrase there. I can remember from really long time ago. Now, what does it mean? On one's last legs. Worn out, rickety, dilabated, dilabated, if I'm pronouncing that right. About to break, about to fall apart, about to collapse, about to fail, falling. Now said, about to go bankrupt, right? Yeah, this kingdom is about to go bankrupt without a shadow of a doubt. That was the word in there, the meaning there. Um, so I typed in, give an example. Give an example of last legs, extremely, because I was doing my video yesterday and um. It came to me in the spirit, man. What's happening with these um, crashes, which is symbolic, these um, aviation failures, what they call them. The helicopters crashing at the sky. There was another one again. I watched the news last night and another one again. Just um, a rescue helicopter just spiraled out of control right down to the ground. And um, this was, was it Florida? I think it was Florida spiraled out and, and just broke um crashed into someone's house man an innocent person's house deleted that person so um aviation failures now to me i saw that as symbolic of this kingdom so um that this is where the word came to me give an example of his of his last legs so this is um this is babylon babylon the great that old dragon yeah the revived dragon the Romans, you're on your last legs, and this is your last kingdom, your last rule. So, um, yeah, man, extremely tired, close to collapsing, right? Is in we've been cleaning house all day, and I'm on my last legs. This hyper hyperbolic hyperbolic expression originally mean meant close to dying. Oh man, when this place goes down, we're going to shout glory to the Most High, Abu Razar. When we're up in them chariots, Abu Razar, we're going to praise. We're going to be looking at, at the bottom of the chariots, the glass chariot, the bottom, looking at that sea of fire burning up this place. Because, um, yeah. So we're going to um, applause Yahweh by Hashem Yoshai, Abu Razar. We are rescued, man. Transferred to being bankrupt. This kingdom's going down. So um, now another word. This word was really um, and and it led me to that precept in Isaiah. The word the word sounds very similar in the spirit, man. On his last legs, synonym. Worn out, rickety, about to break, about to fall apart. Right, man. Now let's get back to Isaiah. Go and get in the word here. Some juicy controversy what's taking place in the earth we see things man happening you know extremely rising to a higher level with these fires and um it's hard to keep up with all the amount of fires that are taking place in certain states around the world actually around the world this is a general thing and you you israel yeah my people goes into that in our isaiah don't do not consider a ox knows its owner, an ass knows his master's crib, but my people do not consider. This is a warning to you. Get right. Right? 
So the word controversy before it's too late, man. Get right. Right here, it here it is. Let's hear what the um. First of all, let's go to um. Hebrew and Greek. Strong's H seventy three seventy nine. Rive, rive, and second entry. Rev, rev, and third entry. Rev, rev. Right, Strong's. Says to contest to contest personal or legacy right adversary because this is prophecy man cause chiding contend controversy multitude right pleading right is another is another interesting white word there right the whole about shimmy shots pleading and really the um the two thirds um you know it's destined what's going to happen to them you know their destiny they're going to be cut off man the two thirds will be cut off but he's pleading for those who are going to take heed yeah before it's too late but we're going to get into that about as well strife strive right the word there strive controversy dispute most eyes are controversy to dispute and he doesn't have to dispute with anybody he doesn't have to um argue or debate with anybody because really what Yehovah Hashim Yashai says whatsoever he, whatsoever he says goes but um we looked at the word and he's really giving us shy um a cry a cry a cry out as he's always been doing warning the wicked yeah whosoever there's no no hand joining hand what's um the wicked shall not go unpunished. So now there's another word that stuck out there. So the Most High has a serious controversy with his people. And the wicked, they're destined to be destroyed. All the other Goyim nations as well. Because why? Because why? Let's look at it. In the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth. You can think of all the other um, destructions and judgment that came upon the, the wicked of our own people the wicked of the globe the Noah the Noah they used the flood and yeah oh, yeah just some um, Sun was it Sunday Saturday gone uh, we saw the um, rainbow then I put it up I done a video and put it up on my channel uh, the, the rainbow and uh, Genesis chapters chapters 9 and 13 which after the they used that flood the most I made a covenant with um with Noah all the way down to through Abraham, Isaac and Jacob with his people that he ain't going to do it again. So um but you can you can think about all the destructions, the Saddam and Gomorrah destructions, the warnings, man, all the empires, and we were in those empires. The ancient Babylonians, the Greek, the Medes and the Persians, the Greeks and the Romans, and he destroyed all of them. Yeah, the Most High brings up, lifts up kingdoms and brings them down. So there's always been, um, there's always been examples, man. The Most High does bring examples for us to see the the walls of Jericho and all these judgments that took place, man. Saddam, I mentioned Saddam and Gomorrah, the the modern, the, the Romans, and we got the um, revived Romans back here again. The controversy and there's a lot of hand in hand, joining hand with the wicked. Don't you know that you ain't going to go unpunished? Yeah. Um, really supporting this um, this beast. Blowing, blowing fire, blowing um, power, giving power to the beast. Worshipping the beast. Its laws. Its, um, its um, statutes. We really letting them overtake you, override you. Um, you got the, now we, we're hearing a lot of things about this, um, this Trump thing. Now. Who knows if it's, it's if it's some kind of um you know humiliation humiliation ritual? Who knows with these people? So yeah, man, there's a lot of people around people. Oh, there was um there's a there's a foreign now. You got this um guy saying he's a he's supporting Trump. He's, you know he had he had the N word on his shirt on his T-shirt. He says I'm supporting tra Trump. What are you gonna do about it? Who knows? It could be a tear anyway. But um. 
these are there's a lot of people really influenced by this Roman Empire man by this dragon yeah worshiping the dragon there's a lot of our people worshiping the dragon so the master says he's got a controversy with his people right man faithfulness because there is no truth there is no faithfulness is the word here breaks down to faithfulness no truth faithlessness let me say it right there is no faithlessness no truth no reliability no stability right faithlessness no reliability enough said on that so the most i going to bring destruction you're going to bring divine destruction judgment right enough said on that because there is no truth in the earth and this really sums up israel man you know this is very um it's a very um powerful precept right here it has a, it packs a punch Hosea's chapters 4 and verse 1 it packs a punch so there's other there's other words here let's get into this one too mercy h26 17 says right the word mercy because there is no truth there is no mercy goodness kindness no faithfulness again yeah unfaithfulness unfaithfulness there's no faithfulness which is um unfaithfulness no kindness right um my people he says pray not for these wicked people man that's how jeremiah felt ultimately yeah because um you know these people are gone man again isaiah man isaiah chapters one the ox knows his owner and has his master's crib but my people do not even consider the lord reproach shame right that's what i wanted out of that controversy now i want to look at the um let me see, check out the google a little bit there and just get like i said i use it as a as a gauge controversy the meaning in the google says disagreement disputes the most i you don't you don't need to debate with anybody but that's that's really the mer the mercy of the lord all right pleading with his people which pleading we won't get into that as well dispute argument debate dissension right in the google in the, in the um etymology this disputation debate prolonged agitation of contrary opinions right and, and that's you wicked people man contrary going contrary in the ways of the lord right directly from the latin controversia a turning against contention quarrel dispute right enough said on that man. so the lord has a controversy with his people right as we just read there we just looked at in the blue letter now there's a now let me see some. Let me just see some. The word controversy. Now, as a matter of fact, yeah, comes up again here in Jeremiah, Jeremiah thirty-one, Jeremiah twenty-five and thirty-one says, "A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth, for the Lord have a controversy." Now, prophecy of captivity. Babylon will be judged right with our people we're going to judge them we've got a controversy with that with them and with babylon that's why we see in these um um apocalyptic described by um one one um civilian over there in maui apocalyptic fires they said where did this come from i don't know where they said and i'm going to say i'm going to again i'm going to say um what is in the dark will come out into the light with that what's going on over there they're interviewing a lot of those um indigenous people over to that land things are coming out but the lord does have a controversy so the most high he says nobody does die innocent so he's bringing that controversy it is heating up it is heating up pun intended man yeah babylon will be judged you will be judged man again you will not be you will not be acquitted and that's also mentioned as well you will not be acquitted so yeah man uh, 20, 20 just jump down to 31 of 25 a noise shall come even to the ends of the earth for the lord will have a controversy with the nations he will plead with all flesh 
He will give them that are wicked to the sod, saith the Lord. He will give them that are wicked to the sod. So, uh, just one word in here. It's going to be a quick one before I hit, hit the road. Plead. Moses has a controversy and he's going to plead with all the wicked flesh. And that's including our people and all the Goyim other nations. He will plead. All up, all up worshipping the beast, the dragon, all our people. And it's going to be a good thing, man. It's going to be a good thing. Abu Razar, once again, we endure to the end. And we um, get to be beamed up in those chariots and look down through that glass glass um, ceiling and look down. And, and, and people, we're going to be seeing it, man. It's going to be, um, we're going to have those new eyes as well, new bodies and new eyes. If we want to zoom in, <laughs> we want to zoom in and see people, people maybe who we once knew. Most eyes are, most eyes are amazing, man. Abba you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, to judge is pleading. That's that's the word plead. Let me hear it in the Hebrew in the Greek there. Strong's H eighty one ninety nine. Shafat. Shafat. To judge, you're gonna plead, govern, vindicate, yeah. And it's vindication once again for those elect that get beamed up into the chariots, that endure to the end. And give the Mosai his vindication, his his worship and his glory, what he deserves. That's what we're doing now. Um, um the Lord's Prayer, man. Sanctifying his name. Yeah. Sanctifying his name, making it known throughout the earth. So there will be a vindication, a separation. In that day you they will know the difference between one serving God and one who's not serving God. So to vindicate but punish upon the wicked punishments punishments upon the wicked to act as lawgiver or judge or govern governor of god man to rule govern judged uh, again the word comes up comes up under the word plead controversy comes up that word comes up again controversy plead have controversy together to be judged right and the strongs to the judge pronounce sentence there, there, that's what I was looking for pronounce sentence for and um yeah they are um, they've been brought into account we they've been brought in um, they've been brought to attention the most is gonna pronounce sentence which is already been done in the spirit it's already been done but we're just watching this movie play out yeah pronounce sentence for a, a for a for or against by implication to vindicate or punish by extension to govern legally or figuratively avenge that condemn con con contend defend execute judgment oh mm -hmm. praise is to Bashim so that's what i wanted man most sides on plead again those words come up plead under the word plead, judge, controversy. There you go. With his, he's going to do it with his sword. All right, last one, last one. Fat, juicy words there. Them that are wicked with his sword. Now, let's hit this one. H27 and 19. Getting some foundational words in, you know, as, um, as we know. Words are foundational. Understanding the meaning of words. The etymology of words are foundational to a subject, to a sentence, right? To a story. So, sword. <laughs> like some of these words we know, but it's good we're going over them, yeah? Knife, tools for cutting, right? Most are going to bring, oh, the, the elders were saying, um, yeah, um, yeah, high priest, R.E.R. was saying, you, um, when we, we're going to have two, two double-edged sword. You cut on the left, you cut on the right. Um, they were saying, our elder apostle Taha was saying, describing um, how high priest Ariar used to describe the two-edged sword in Psalms um, 100 and 149. Yeah, we're going to be singing. We're going to have the two-edged sword. And he was really um, enthusiastic. He loved to go in on that. So I've been hearing, so I've been hearing the elders and the apostles talking about. He was good on that. It was um, it was all for that two-edged sword because they, when you cut it, when you cut, 
when you cut in they feel it and i was feeling that when i was going in talking about the two-edged sword how high priest rer used to describe it so we're looking at this we're looking at this tools for cutting stone and uh, yeah again psalms 149 talks about the two-edged sword man to slice and dice that's all i wanted here for now but um abara Az azar to be continued another subject perhaps but um there's a there's so much things happening uh, so much things happening as we can see prophecies are popping off like popcorn again jeremiah 25 and 40 31 a noise shall come even to the ends of the earth for the lord have a controversy with the nations he will plead with all flesh he will give them that are wicked to the sod saith the lord controversy that word just kept going around my head man because yes most definitely this kingdom's on its last legs that old saying came back to me which um inspired me to bring this go into this hosea 1 hosea 4 and 1 says hear the lord hear the word of the lord ye children of israel for the lord hath a controversy with inhabitants of the land because there is no truth no mercy no knowledge yeah no knowledge of Yahweh in the land i want to give our praise to you bashim ashai the water to you bashim ashai putting the spirit on me to do this video so the lord is bringing the heat yeah there is a controversy on the horizon that's what i'm going to tell this video there is a controversy on the horizon and we know yeah the ease all you wicked the goyim nations the wicked of our own people and the ease are on your last legs son you're on your last legs so con there is a controversy on the horizon until the next one we out